All right, Tom. How are you doing, Gennady? I'm okay. So today we will have the new video about social media sharing. Cool. Directly from Blogly. Excellent. That I think a lot of people will be interested in that. The uh, you know it's uh, I won't steal any thunder or give away the ending. You know we'll just uh, we'll leap right in there and people will be amazed. They may want to pause it now and go get some water so that they can <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> Hopefully, no, it's not going to be that long. <laughs> yeah. All right. The conceptual idea is the Bodley is not, I mean, the social media sharing app. Of course, it's not. However, right. however, I noticed that when I have the content and I need to, say, post it somewhere, I have an extra steps that I need to do. And I need to go on uh, that specific platform. I need to post it. So it does take a little bit of time. So right. just to cut the corners. Uh, so you don't need to go anywhere else. You don't need to really run to the Facebook. You don't need to go to open up the Twitter and doing it in the Twitter. So we made it faster and easier publishing. And also many people just don't want to pay for like applications like Buffer, like uh, other ones. Uh, exist that publishing like in the too many platforms, right? Oh, okay. So, so you punch it into theirs and then it sends it out to wherever you've uh, designated. Right. But it's kind of, sometimes it's overkill. You really don't want to do that. You, let's say if somebody publishes only few articles, say a couple articles a week, uh, say some people, many people publish just one article a week, a uh, couple article a month, you really don't need that kind of a, uh, I mean, social media, like distribution uh, type of platform. Right. So for that, we come up with a simple solution that you take the article, you just simply share it and publish it quickly, exactly from from the Blogly. Cool. And we can go through that. Yeah, let's, let's do it. I, it helps with that write once, publish many approach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Write once, so. use many. <laughs> So I share my screen here. Um, here are some the article that I recently published. I published, say, this one. I haven't published this one yet. This is a right, like a really quick. It's not even an article. I just throw like quick example of how to restore a blog from auto block version. We do have that functionality, and okay. the, the one uh, customer was asking how to restore. So I have to record it. So I just record. I I just throw a few steps very quickly. So just uh, uh, recorded here is uh, what is restoring after block. Here's my steps. I've done this. Uh, I did this. I did this. And I added here a video. And by the way, this was like I was experimenting with the Berry cast. So I, oh, used, okay. I, I used their recording and I in, uh, embed their recording. So I found a way how to embed it quickly. And this is it. So now hosting is free on their platform. It's actually okay. pretty cool. And recording was fine uh, because when I recorded, uh, it records exactly pixel to pixel. So that was in order to share this particular article, I need to go in the menu here on top and select the social share. Now, this warning will come up. So no surprise. So nobody get, I mean, don't get scared. So, <laughs> <laughs> this warning is basically tells you that sharing is not possible just because this particular article and i explained in my words this particular article uh, is not publicly shared so what does it mean it's not being published anywhere in wordpress and it's not being a part of any kind of public sharing yet because the way you can make it publicly shared if you add it to the portfolio so this is a one of the two solution if the article is published on the wordpress then you will have the link here it's, it will show you that for you to select this published article on WordPress. If it's not published on a WordPress, the option you have, you can add this article to any portfolio that you have. Even okay. a free account, even a free account has a one free portfolio. Sure. So for that, uh, there are two ways of doing it. Uh, one thing is I can go directly into my portfolios and just add it to any of this portfolio. So let's say like this one, this is a tutorial ABC. This was a portfolio created here. Like this one to create this portfolio, it only takes like a couple minutes. 
and then you can just keep adding the article here. I can right. do the add this, say this article from here, but let me do it directly from uh, that, that place. So directly from the article. So this is the article I want to publish. Right. So in this case, if I get this message and I'm on the so in the click on the social sharing, I now understand that my article wasn't published yet and it's not a part of the portfolio. So in this case, you go here and say assign portfolio. So when you go and assign portfolio, you will have this pop up where you can click here and select one of the portfolios that you have. Let's say if you haven't created one, just go ahead and create one. It, you will keep this portfolio for yourself or for other for other needs. So you can you can use this portfolio even just for public sharing. So let's say I'm going to add this uh, article to this portfolio. Can I add multi to multiple portfolio same articles? You bet. You can. I can do to all the portfolios that I have. I can make that visible in that portfolios. But in our case, in our just testing example, we just added to this portfolio. Okay. And second part is provide the topic. Let's say from beginning, you may not have any topic. So you need to create one. So to create the topics is very simple. Let's say I can just write here my uh, topic, right? If I do that, uh, this is, will be the topic that I assigned this article for. Do I have to put the topic? Well, I don't have to. But it's good when you have a portfolio, when you are in a portfolio, you, have, you can have something to filter on the portfolio. Gotcha. Now, let's say I'm selecting the one of the topic. Let's say if it's going to be the demo and I click OK. But remember, I selected the portfolio right here and I click OK. Now, this article I can share on uh, any social media. The only one thing to remember that we not allowed to share articles that they have a status open because open is by default. That means article is not finished. So in this case, I would need to make sure I change the status from open to closed at least. So closed. click on the click on the buttons up there and uh, show people what happens because this is still in an open status. Yeah. So social if share. I go now and click on the social share, you can still see even though we added is still saying sharing is not possible because right. this article is not yet shared. So and in this case, that's something that people might run into, you know, they're oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. a hurry and, oh yeah, this is done. I want to get it out tonight before I go to bed. So <laughs> yes, again, don't get scared. So two things you need to do. The article need to be publicly available in one of two places, whether it's WordPress or your portfolio. And at the same time, if it's uh, in your portfolio, you have to make sure the status is uh, closed or archived. In this case, then it will show up. Right. And that's a protection for the person who's writing, because that means if you click that it's closed or whatever, that indicates that you've gone through it and you're happy with it and you're ready for the world to see it. Yeah. So it's it prevents well, you from accidentally publishing something that wasn't ready. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, that was exactly the point why we did that. So let me go back now and show you how this article now appears in the portfolio. So if I go back and I go to content, go to portfolios here, and here's the portfolio that I assign. So when I click here, you can see the articles are on the third tab. I'm clicking on the third tab, and now you could see that that article is here and the status is open. You can right. even see that here when you click and explains the only article with status completed or archived will be visible in portfolio. Other statuses will be filtered out. So we're not allowing with the status open uh, or idea. We have idea status as well. So right. it will not be uh, showing. And also we have an additional status name canceled. So we have uh, just a few statuses. Right. You can change the statuses by going in the org details, right? So it's right here. You click it. This is uh, all org details of the article. And these are the statuses. But let me do that not from here, even though I can do it directly from here. But let me do it directly in the article itself. Now, when I'm in this article, I can go now to go into edit org details of right here. So when okay. I click on that, you will see exactly the same pop up. 
This is where you control all the organizational details for the article. There is a published date. This is a title that you can change. Uh, this is the folder you can select and drop down and you select one of the folders. Uh, you do not have to, so, but folders are optional. Everything is here is optional except of the title. Now, you have a tagging system, so you can tag here. You can write the tag, click enter. But this is the status. So let's review the status now. Here are the all the statuses. Starting from idea, then open, then closed, archived, and canceled. So only these two statuses, closed and archived, are being only visible on the, on the public. Status okay. cancel will not show up. Status all open is not, will not show up. And again, we've done it on purpose. We consider the article is not ready if it still have the status open. Got it. Makes sense. In this, yeah, in this case, I changed to closed. And I click OK. Now, you could see if you go back here, you will see now the status is closed. So it will not be a problem anymore. So now let's go test it again. I go here and I say click share. Now you could see this one has showed up. So it says article published on. Yeah. All you need to do is just click OK. Once you click OK, now you go into this screen. So as you can see, that I already, when I was testing, you can see this article was already like published on the Twitter. So we just leave the check mark when I was uh, doing it uh, before that. And right. you can see the date when it was uh, uh, published. So I remove it. So I was able to remove it. What we brought here for the social sharing? Five most popular platforms. Of course, it's a Facebook, there is a Twitter, there is a Tumblr, LinkedIn, and Reddit. There is a one more here is Buffer. Buffer okay. is uh, like a multi-distribution platform. This is not the free platform. So you need to subscribe, you pay monthly fees. So this is a more for someone who is really, really active. Someone okay. who just published in like a couple articles a, a week. Uh, sometimes you don't, I don't see the reason. I don't subscribe to the Buffer, but I do want to have a flexibility of quickly publishing and pushing my article everywhere. One more thing, I just want to make sure. I'm going to put the featured image for this. Oh, okay. Yeah, but otherwise, without featured image, it just will be the text without nothing, right? Right. Okay. I prepared the featured image, so let me just pull the featured image from here. Uh, I can just use this one. So as you can see, this kind of auto block version example. So just let me just add this here. I don't need to do the compression, so I just leave it as is. Click OK. And I don't want to put for now any alternative text. I just say, OK. So now, as you can see, if I go back, you will see uh, uh, you will see this. If I click change it like this, now you could see this is the featured image. Ah, uh -huh. OK. The featured image is ready. So now I'm publish. I publish together with the image. Now, here is my like my short article here. There is a video uh, that I recorded. Let me publish it. Social share. I select. Click OK. Now let's go on the uh, Facebook. So on the Facebook, you can just type whatever you need to type and you can just click publish post on the bottom and that will publish it. So let me do it now on the I'm not going to publish this one. So uh, but let me do it now on a different platform. So did you publish it on Facebook or did you? No, I didn't. Want, I, I just oh, closed. Okay. I didn't. Want yeah, yeah, that's OK. So I do go here. Let's go on Twitter. Here's the Twitter comes up. And of course, Twitter is uh, you need to add the image here, even though it's with your article. So you just add the image here. You can just uh, so it will show up. Twitter, I can easy quickly. I can remove it. So I just don't want to do it on. Um, on uh, Facebook. So now sure. here, here is the uh, image for the Twitter. Here's the uh, name of the article. Now you can uh, add your, add your whatever you want to add here and just click tweet. And you can see now Twitter, it showed the article is right here. Okay. Now let me delete this one too. You can just use it very quickly. You can see every time I do that, it will show the check mark what I did. And also gives me the date. Now, let's say if you just try it and you didn't do it, okay, you can come back, say here, because we recorded the date, 
but we don't know uh, because you go on into that platform we don't even know whether you actually published or you just get off at the last second so right. in this case we just mark it as a published but you can always come back and say here no i didn't publish this one and you just leave it like that very cool well that's a nice reminder feature so that you don't end up yeah. uh, going so out this, and is posting. <laughs> this is it so it's not much to it it's just a couple of tricks that you need to know that you can publish, especially if it's uh, already published on a WordPress. I can show you the, how the actual WordPress will be publishing. Remember that we did the Black, Blackly portfolios. Right, it's already right. been published. So because when I go to publish, you can even, I can even see this. This was published on such and such day. This was uh, uh, the link, right? I mean, the, that right. was a platform. Now, if I go now social sharing, take a look. I select now this one. You see this this is where it was published. Okay. I'll click OK. And now let me go and publish it on uh, Facebook. That's it. Uh, let me just see if did I post it on the LinkedIn. Let me just check it here. Yeah, this was posted on LinkedIn. Okay, so this is it, and I think uh, we covered the social media sharing, right? That's great. I think uh, uh, it's amazing. I may have to start uh, using some of those others. Uh, I typically <laughs> use Facebook and LinkedIn, so maybe well, I have to get some of the other. <laughs> well, it's a hidden functionality, of course. We don't want to. We don't advertise it, and, and actually, we I even hide this feature. People sometimes get overwhelmed with the features. So right. in this case, let it sit there. Somebody who knows and who is more in the, in the advanced stuff, let them experiment and do use this feature, which is available. Of course, the primary purpose is, again, to write quality content. Sharing comes after. I mean, you can do the right. sharing and promoting. If you have a... Um... Let's say you have uh, Bob's pretty good uh, social media platform that you want to post to. Obviously, it's not one of the main ones. Just cut and paste. Is that the solution for that? For which one? For other platforms? Yeah, for the uh, anything that you haven't already listed on there. Uh, oh, so you, the, the so social the media. Six, yeah. So instead of the six that you have there. Well, if, if needed, uh, we can always add like, I have ability to add like 20 more that but what's the point why do i want to right add? right i'm just this saying is most, this is most widely recognized used most common one so it's okay but if now if you want to publish like some obscure places if the buffer can manage it for you and you probably more and advanced like a uh, social media uh, distributor so go ahead and use the buffer just send it to buffer and if you have an account to buffer so right now i don't so i used to have account but i don't find the use right now but uh you can sign into your buffer push it to buffer then you can distribute any way you want so okay that makes sense well that's a great feature and uh, as people learn more and more about the what blogly can do they can start being social media experts as well <laughs> <laughs> well social media is not not an easy thing especially you need to be present all the time yep. uh, you need to always think what you're going to say uh and of course you need to build up your network and uh, provide as much information as possible in the groups groups are valuable thing groups are for businesses at first right. i was thinking that groups and the facebook is only for retirees who are ready to <laughs> just chat about their 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 uh, supper and yep. some, some restaurant and just snap in the pictures and send it to each other you know <laughs> yeah look i had liver again <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ooh. all right well on that happy note <laughs> hey you don't like a liver i like the liver oh no i it just it's horrible <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of liver. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat yeah. most anything, but snails, liver, and uh, asparagus. People are gonna say, "What? You don't what? like that? <laughs> no. What? You you don't like asparagus? No, I. Depends on how much I have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> if I can kill the taste, then it's fine. <laughs> uh.
Okay. Well, listen, I hope you have a great evening. And uh, this this was a great uh, overview. That yeah, is yeah, easy. Yeah. All right. All good right, night, Gennady. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye-bye.